Welcome to Galvin Engineering's maintenance video showing us how to relube and rechange a time flow cartridge on our knee valve. As you can see with this fella here, he is running constantly and will not shut off. I'll show you how to do this in a couple of minutes. All we need to use, the tool we're using, is some edible lube with a brush, a wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of multi grips. Okay, let's get started on changing this cartridge. First of all, we want to be doing is turning off the water completely. Then we want to undo this metal cap on the top by turning it anti clockwise. This should give us a spring, a cap, a long lever, and a metal cap. Once we have those guys taken off, all we need to do now is get to the actual cartridge itself. In doing this, we want a pair of multi-grips, just to hold this brass cap here, and by unscrewing your Phillips head. Screw. Making sure that you capture your screw, your spline cap, brass cap, as well as your spring. Once you've got those propellers off, we can actually get down to our cartridge. Right, unscrew this valve. get us the cartridge itself. Making sure we remove all, all sight of the old washer, fiber washer. We can then start moving on to having a look at the actual cartridge and finding out why it's lasting too long. Looking at this cartridge here, that's how it comes out. What we want to do is take off that bottom cap, this part here. Just by bending back and forward, what we're looking for on this is any cracks, any damages, or anything like that that can cause it to make it last longer. Looking at the spindle itself, there's a little bit of grease there, not much, but it's also got a bit of damage on the actual spindle itself. Now I don't know if you can see that brownness there, but this will cause the spindle to stay open and not last and not close on when it's meant to. Lastly, you want to be making sure that this little spring here is not damaged or defected in any way. Since this one's got calcium buildup, I will be going and replacing a new cartridge. Okay, as you can see, I have my new cartridge here now. Again, taking off that plastic cap and making sure that everything is in order, making sure that spring, no cracks or damages at all. What we want to do then is make sure that it is all lubed in this area here, making sure there is no calcium buildup, rust, or any damage. Again, cause by making sure this is well lubed by using our paintbrush and our edible grease. Making sure not to put the grease on the rubber, nor in the actual plastic cap itself. Once that's down, push that up and down just to make sure the grease gets all lubed. Put that back on and we're ready to go. Bring your cartridge back in. Screwing it clockwise. Maybe putting a little bit of pressure down just to make sure that O ring gets past. Once that's done, we need to get our small spring our brass spline cap and our screw. Put all those guys together and put that over the top of the cartridge itself. By pushing down you can actually get the spindle and screw that straight in. If you wish you can get your pair of multi grips and make sure that's nice and tight.
don't actually hold the spring, hold the top of the brass cap itself. Once that's done, it's just putting our lever back together, which is grabbing our metal cap and our lever, placing it through the end there. Getting your plastic cap and putting it back onto the spring itself, plastic cap goes onto the lever. Putting the spring over the actual cartridge and screwing that clockwise. Now we're ready for testing. Making sure the water's turned on. It will run for a little bit, just making sure that that cartridge is pushed back out. Once that's done, push that. And as you can see, our tap is now working. And down on time. Thank you for using Galvin Engineering product. If, any, if you need any help or any, any dramas, please contact us on 9249-5900. That is 08 for WA, 9249-5900. Thank you very much.